Hello and welcome to this fourth uh, part in the Java Fire Simulation tutorial. And last time we did some uh, window, uh, some JFrame events, um, and we can set up our JFrame, pass some variables. So this time we want to do some uh, mouse clicks. So first thing we're going to do is that we're going to in the, our mouse pressed, um, we will set up so we can print out. Uh, one of the coordinates for our left uh, click and right click will be. So we say if and then e dot get button. Um, we do this because our mouse event is called e, so therefore e, and then we want to get the button. And if that button is mouse oh, event, <coughs> sorry, button one, that's our left click. Then uh, we want to we can say print out. Um, Let's say uh, x will be our e dot get x, and then say y e dot get y. So let's try and compile that. See if we can run it. Now let's get our console over here, and now we can get coordinates out. So that's really awesome, but we can't drag it. it does not work. You only press. And if you right click, it doesn't work either. So let's get this over here again. But that worked. So let's uh, try something else. Say else if our uh, e dot get button is equal equal to mouse event dot button, but this time button three because our button number three that's our right click. Then what do we want to do? We want to do like the exact same thing, but let's um, right here. Let's write uh, oh L E F T. There we go. Left X and left Y. And here let's say right X and right Y. Compile that. Run it, and let's see here. Get the left, still cannot drag it, then we have the right. So now we have left and right click, which is pretty neat. But um, let's, uh, let's set some dragging up. We don't actually need this release double. we down here instead, I think. Yeah, let's just put it here. No, what? It didn't move. That's my bad. There we go. So let's set up. Let's just keep it pretty here. Okay, so mouse dragged. Um, well, we can try and just print out dragging. Um, well, let's just say dragging. There we go. Let's see if we can actually, uh, and then oh, and print again. Oh, let's move it over here so we can see. And print, but we can actually. Sometimes we we don't hold it really still. We're actually dragging, and, and we have both left and right drag. So, but they're both. Even though we right to drag, it's like it's the left mouse button. So. Let's try and figure this out. So let's just delete this line here, since we don't need it. Um, and now we can do, we what we can do is that we can when we press with the left button, we can actually set a boolean so that it knows it's the left button, and then a boolean for the right button. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to make a boolean up here, so private. Oh, boolean. It's called dragging. And if you press with the left mouse button, then the dragging will be true. Um, let's see here. Um, yeah. If you press with the left mouse button, dragging will be true. But if you press with the right, it will be false. So it's a dragging equal false. 
now in the dragging we can say that if dragging is uh, true then we do this um, and then we can say else if dragging is false then we can say the right click so let's get this in here let's get the, this one and let's say dragging so we know it's we are dragging let's run this let's take our console over here no press it's okay then when drag this is left mouse button right click and we have a right dragging so that's pretty neat. You can left drag, right drag, left drag, right drag. It's still really uh, sensitive because it should only do one pixel in drags. But uh, the way we will set it up, it won't be that big of a problem. So, um, oh, one thing I wanted to show was that if we actually go up here on the top, we're actually kind of 26, even though we are almost at the top. Like, we have to go into this status bar to get to zero if you can see when we drag up here now we get to one and minus because we go out of bounds but here we're weirdly at 20 something which we don't really want to we want this corner here to be 0, .0 .0, but it's 0 point like 24 um, so what we can do is let's clear the console um, in here when we set the size we actually want to say x size plus 22 because the height of the status bar is 22 so um, now we have this, this set up here um, let's uh, let's see what can we what can we else do let's say that this uh, this was a short one uh, and the next time we will uh, set up uh, the board uh, and then uh, print our start to make our arrays for ourselves.